What's up everybody? Blue Gabe, welcome to Everglades City. Actually to the Everglades Fishing Company. Good friend of mine, Jimmy, if you follow along, we've been in Mexico together for the last week. Well, we're back in his hometown. I've got the chitlins, the children, and Luke's already acting his goofy self this morning. Mm -hmm. Y'all stuffing yourselves or what? Yeah. Dang, Jake, you done ate a whole biscuit? Oh yeah. Um, you can look up and say hi to your fans, like a good morning. You can say good morning, Luke. Mm -hmm. All right, we're here at Jimmy's store. This is Everglades Fishing Company, CEO. EvergladesFishingCO.com. We're getting breakfast. If you're ever here, come by and eat. This place is absolutely awesome. It's only open on the weekends, though. The store's open all week. If you want to see more of this, check out our last video. If you want to hear more about our personal life, check out our last video. If you're wanting to see some fishing, hang on. We're getting ready to get going right now. Catching bait is always the most important part of your day. Looking good, Cap, looking good. Not a bad start. Well, it definitely has not calmed down offshore like we thought. We're about 30 miles right now from the coast and it is getting rougher by the mile. We're stopping at a spring Jimmy has and we're gonna see if we can't catch some cobia, maybe a mutton snapper. We're gonna try to catch something and make the best of a really windy day. You boys ready? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Did you get a nap, Luke? <laughs> if you've never been on a long, long boat ride, it will put you to sleep in a hurry. But then about every minute, you'll get hit by a big wall of water spray and that'll wake you back up. Pretty emotional roller coaster if you ask me. I always try to get on the ground and just lay down, but not today. Our bait's looking good. Got that whole well full. Got a bunch of rods, some NLBNs. That's a good bait right there. Got some knocker rigs with just hooks on them to put a live bait on, a jig head for shrimp. What do you think, Cap? Drop them right here. Man, we got some fish on the bottom. You boys, get back here. All right, got the first bait ready. Jimmy had to pee. Real when you can reel. 
Point your rod over. Point your rod over this way. Stand right here. Stand right here. Right there. Perfect. Get him. You got a gain on him, son. Get that rod up right there. Now go. Hold right here. Put right here. There you go. Big old jack, Luke. Bear down on him a couple more times. Here he comes. Good fish, Luke. Turning to the camera. What do you think about that? Oh, he's grunting. He's, grunt. he's grunting. What's he saying? He's saying subscribe the blue game. Dude, that's what he's hey! that's what he's saying, son. Turn him loose. See ya. Got a camera in one hand, a seagull floating right out there, and I'm trying to catch a fish. Luke, I could use your help right now. He, he just said, do it by yourself. He's chumming. Another blue runner. Get him away from the motor. Son, don't let him whoop you. Come on. Get him away from the motor. You got him. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 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 Oh, something just huge just ate him, Luke. He just got eight. Look at that. Something big. That was that maybe bit, could have been a khaki cockle. It might have been baby shark. Baby shark dee doo dee doo. Look at I mean you're just spoiled right now. You you lose one and get another rod handed to you. That's how it works. That's how time works. Luke, it wasn't very long ago where you wouldn't want to been out here with us. You got anything to say to little kids that might not want to go fishing? Once, once, the bad parts is when you're coming here, but whenever you get here, the, it's not so bad anymore because you get the fish. Hey, that's wise words from an eight-year-old. Like, if we didn't come out here, we, we wouldn't have sold that, jack, that big jack that said subscribe to Blue Game and look over there. You miss him? Oh, whoa, 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 Jake. Hang on to him, Jake. That's the big one. Bend that rod, son. Get it between your legs. That's the Mac Daddy right there. Reel up. Jake, come down here. Bring him down the side. Get him away from that trolling motor. This is what we're after, son. He's coming up. Keep the rod bent. Why do I got a 20-foot gaff right here? You got a shorty over there. I ain't never seen a gaff so long. Get him, Jake. He's coming up. Watch out, guys. There's going to be a bunch of them. I need it. Here, Abram. Ready to go down. He's got more life in him. Keep him away from the troll motor. Big one with him, hold too. On, hold on, Let's get the double up. Double up. Double up. Big Bring cobia. Bring a bait. Bring a bait. You're good. You're smooth. Go forward for me. Y'all go forward. Boom. Abram's got him. Double up. Double up. Here, Uncle Jim. Let me get some. Look at Luke back there. Luke's going to try to get a third. Pull up on him, Jake. The boat's turning. We need to get the boat back straight. Abram, take your time with yours and let him wear down. Let me get Jake's. Pull down on him, Jake. Real. You got him? Oh, you mean no. I got him. Real down on him. Real down on him. Oh, oh. Oh God, that's hard to do by yourself and film. Let's go for a twofer. Let's go for a twofer. Come on this side, Abram. You got a little one. I see him. Hold on. We're trying to get this stuff accomplished. A baby remora. Hey, good job, little man. Jake, that's a giant, son. This fish is way over there. Yeah, there's a remora that came off of it. I see him. Release him. Hey, we just made it work. That's what we do, baby. That's what we do. How about that gaff job? That was pretty sweet. Yo, guys, look at this remora. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, All right, turn him loose. Hey, hey, hey. That rod's out. You got to reel that in. Reel it in, Loki. He, he got sidetracked from a oh, remora. Oh, I got a fish. I got hey. a fish. Oh, no. Oh, no. 
Let's go! Real! Let's swap spots! Swap spots! Swap spots! Hey, he's got a, he's got a stud. Yeah! Jake, get up here and help Luke! I got it! Luke, don't go any farther forward. Abram, get him in. Let's get yours, Gap. Let me come by you. Let's see which one's bigger. Hey, go forward. Go take them forward. Take them forward. Come on. Where's he at? I can't see his head. Luke's just jumped right here. Hey, Jimmy, I can't get him in by myself. Luke! Luke's Kobe! No, don't gaff him. We can only keep two. Luke, come to the back, Luke. Oh, no. Luke, you're doing an amazing job. Actually, let's come around this side real quick. Here's Luke's fish. It's a big one. Good job! It's a big one. All right, come back to the back. We can both put that one. Go back to the back. All right, I gotta stand still for a second. Move that rod. This is probably the most action-packed fishing video I've ever filmed in my life. Hold on, we're still in reverse. I'm gonna turn the boat into it. No, you're forward. You were in reverse. I just took it out. Oh, you got it. You're good, buddy. You're good. You got it. Oh There's another one more. You're good. Keep walking that way. Keep walking that way. So We're playing ring around the rosies. He can't. He can't. He's yeah, all he's tangled. Got that. He's got that. Come on. Holy nutso. We're only allowed two of these Kobe, but we want to get Luke's in the boat. Alright, we're going to both put this. You ready? We're going to do this together. Get up there, Luke. Help him. You ready? You no, think you can? Out, watch, out. watch out, Jake. You think he'll come? Oh, you got him, Luke! Woo you got him, son. Luke, give me five. Come here. Son, you got to celebrate. Oh, Good we job, got man. him. Hey, we got let him. Let me get one of them. Let me get one, little man. Hey. Look up at Mr. Jimmy. Woo! Hold on, watch out. Hey, These cobia will see hurt spines? you. Oh, yeah. yeah, just stay away from them spines. All right, Luke, get, get the hook out of him, Luke. You know how to do it. Twist it. Let me, let me see something real quick. He, pull some, yeah, pull him some slack. Good job, buddy. Good job, Luke. All right, we got Jake's Mac Daddy. We got Tarzan's Mac Daddy. Luke's is a keeper, but we need to revive him, so we're going to put him in the well for just a minute, get some fresh oxygen through his blood, into his blood, and turn him loose. Luke, what do you think about that? This boy, all he cares about is remorse, folks. He just caught the fish of his dreams and that's what he's worried about but that hey that's that's, that's what, what makes today, it exciting that's what today's about so the boys. Luke you're gonna have to explain here let me get him explain what this little fish he he's stuck I can't get him Luke all right here explain what this fish does and what is he what is how does he do it so he sticks to sharks goliath groupers and the other big fish they eat like algae growing on them but and like bad stuff on him it's called a remora he's got a little suction cup see that let's turn him loose Boop. now he'll go find a big old shark give me nuts you guys that's what you call mad chaos at its finest that was nuts hey over the rail and in the pail if it's blowing we going hey are y'all ready to go home that was just too much action way too much what do you think we can't go home right now but I'm it's gonna... rough and windy but there's a bunch of fish right here you want to keep going it's gonna be like two hours until i'm worn out how many hours till you're worn out he can't talk. He can't talk. <laughs> he's already wore out but it, in jake's defense he caught one and then had to help luke 
get his in the boat. You did a good job. Thank you. Uncle Jimmy, you did a decent job too. Oh, I got me a perfect bash right here. And I'm sorry in advance for all the squeaking. Everything's wet, it just is what it is. Y'all are riding shotgun on one of the craziest fishing trips we've been on in a long time. By far, probably the best fishing trip that the kids have ever been on when it comes to catching big fish. And we're really just getting started. That's the greatest part. We've only been fishing for like 30 minutes, max. <laughs> bad chaos whoo how about that ride in folks that was a long one we ended up what were we 35 yeah. about 35 miles offshore and it dang sure got rough but these kids performed flawlessly that's how you take oh, boys and awesome. turn them into men i think we even accomplished turning luke into a man today look at it right there yeah he's hung out with jimmy for so long let me see are you growing a little bit of a beard too look at it look at it i see something popping out Hey, you did good today. Tarzan, you did good. And Jake, you did good, son. Thank you. All y'all did good. Everybody did good. Everybody gets a trophy today, including me, because I was the cameraman. I did catch the first fish, though. I didn't see it. We're going to pull up to this dock because we are all absolutely starving. Oh, I wasn't pointing the camera right. We're starving. We got to get some food. The restaurant right here where we're pulling up to is going to cook our fish. We gotta run down here to the flay table and clean them. Y'all see this? It needs to be refilled. You guys, this hotel right here, I'm not gonna say the name, but if you can guess what it is, I think we should give them a free EFC hat or something. A hat and a pair of socks. We will randomly pick a winner and whoever wins will get an EFC pair of socks and a hat. Trust me, their socks are great because I wear them all the time. They get Danko knives or Danko pliers. Two? How about we pick two winners? One will win Danko pliers and Danko knife, and the no, other one. What? No. How about line. we just yeah. do it? Right. Anybody yeah. that guesses the Pull name of this place right. 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 there. And that, I mean, you don't even have a lot to guess with. You gotta just see it. Anybody that Pull guesses that the Pull name right is right. getting Danko hat, Danko pliers, okay. Danko knives, yeah. or. I will give you a hint. It was built in the late 1800s and it was in a pretty popular movie. If you're from Southwest Florida, don't even guess. Give the people a chance that have maybe seen this movie and maybe recognize it. Yeah, that's what Don't leave home with, so. without your Danko. And it's almost Christmas time. If you need a good knife and you're not here in Everglade City where you can stop here and get one, go to DankoPliers.com. Use promo code BLUEGABE. You can save another 10%. You guys, these things or as good of a knife as you can get. You can get all three if you get the three piece kit for less than 50 bucks. Heck, less than 40 bucks if you use my promo code. So we stopped and actually caught some lane snapper at another spot, they only gotta be eight inches long. This one is a perfect fish for ceviche. This is a perfect fish for a fried fish snap a sandwich. But here is the star of the show, holding perfectly sideways. Just like that, hold him up. What do you call that, Luke? This is a fish that only an Arrington would catch. It's a I mean, fish. That, you couldn't have said it any better. That's a, a as fish. As soon as I caught him, I looked over the edge and I saw like a hundred pound Jew fish. And if you don't know what a Jew fish is. It's a Goliath grouper. Yes. Stop stealing my questions. <laughs> what kind of fish is that? That's a moonfish. Look at how straight he is. Why do they call him moonfish? Because he looks like the moon means he's kind of like a circle. All right, so Wachovia to me is by far the hardest fish to clean. First, I'm gonna take all this slime and spray it off. So once you get all the slime off, come in here just like that, cut towards his head. Here's the thing though with Cobia that most of y'all don't know about. You see these things right there? See that, Jake? Mm -hmm. They will cut and stab the heck out of you. Come in here just like this. Cobia have meat just like a swordfish really firm completely different than like snapper or, you know stuff like that bass or crappie they have a really firm flay yeah. you pretty much just let your knife do the work find the pin bones pop through I wouldn't want to do this with a much smaller knife than this one I tell you another thing too, a cobia is always a cool fish to see what's in their belly because you never know what they're going to eat. 
that's it. You know. Now, if you're gonna grill it, you could definitely leave the skin on. I don't like doing that though. I like taking the skin off. I want mine fried. I like it crispy. You want fried cobia? Mm -hmm. Just like that. Now you can see it has a lot of blood on its meat. Don't panic and don't leave it on there. It does not taste good. Look at that pretty chunk of fish. What the boys can now do with these chunks of bloodline, because they clean fish here every day off this PlayStation, is they can take these chunks, hook them on a hook, throw them over, and probably catch a tarpon or a snook off of them. I trim all of that off. I do not want any bloodline on my filet. I'll eat a piece raw for $50. 50 bucks? That's how you clean a cobia. They are bloody, they have a good amount of blood to them. Take your time. You can actually take the belly off and smoke it with the collars or the throat. There's not much meat on the head. So you can pretty much, I mean, you could even take this backbone, wash the blood off of it and smoke it and get all the meat. Like every ounce of this fish is edible. I don't know if you guys can see it in my eyes, but it was windy out there today. Actually windy and cold and salty. And my eyes are probably bloodshot. Walking into the restaurant now, they're gonna cook some of the cobia for us cook some of the snapper. I've already given them the cobia. And we're gonna have some cheeseburgers and normal food because we're all starving. I just had to get them to kill the music because like always, we can't have music in a video or it'll get demonetized. But now I'm gonna show you the inside of this place and see if you can guess it. If you haven't already guessed or maybe you have guessed and you need a new hint, let me show you the inside. I love places like this. Old, cool, rustic. You never know what you're gonna see really. You got a turkey, yeah, some old guns. Luke, do you know what this is off of? Sawfish. Yep. We used to have tons of those in Florida. Now we don't yeah. have very many. Yeah, your video might be demonetized. <laughs> don't be looking over there. He's talking about that poster. Luke, we need to do a flamingo catch, clean, and cook. That's what I'm talking about. I love this old fire pit with a chimney. Tell me that's not cool. Like an old cook pit. I know it's dark and you can't see a ton, but you're seeing enough. Some old fish mounts. When I paid last night for my room, straight up, they still use that cast register. Actually, let's show them in here. Yeah, this building was built in the 1800s, late 1800s. Ted, what, when, what year was this building built? 1864 that was a long time ago i'm old but i'm not that old put that right there in front of luke he's the hungriest one here luke look at that thank you dear god for this day thank you for dying on the cross for our sins thank you for letting us be able to catch these wonderful fish and be able to come back here and have this wonderful food and please help this food nourish our bodies in jesus name we pray amen amen amen, amen. What, well a man. what a man, what a man, what a man. I like that. Did you say amen? I said amen. Can you say a silent prayer for Uncle Jimmy? He needs like two or three. <laughs> Luke, dig in and let's see what you think. This is the lane snapper right here. And that's the cobia. I don't know, I think I'm going with the pink sauce. How about my hair, Jimmy? Is it oh, good before I turn shoot. the camera? Oh, Punky great. brisker, man. No. Oh Lord, have mercy. <laughs> That snapper's legit. Give me all this. Let's see what this cobia tastes like, though. I'm taking, oh, I'm I did want to try to oh. Here, you want it? Yeah. Wait, well, this is also cobia. This is just not Yeah, fried. the snapper's fried and the cobia's grilled. Good, Abram? It's good. Cobia's hard to beat. Yeah. It's raw, not really good fried, raw, though. Raw, raw or grilled or, yeah. or blackened or something like that. Yeah. You cannot compare it to other flaky fish. You, the only thing you could compare it to is maybe swordfish. Maybe. Maybe swordfish, but cobia is cobia. It's not compared to anything else. That was good. So good. Really That's good. it though. I haven't done a video like this where we just went out fishing, caught something, cleaned it, and cooked it, and ended the video in a long time. 
The reason that I'm doing that in this video is we're in the process of filming another video right now too. And that one's got all of Everglades City. It's got Mr. Jimmy's shop, Everglades Fishing Company. If you don't want to watch the other one, check out EvergladesFishingCO.com. All the coolest gear. Right before Christmas, if you got a husband or a brother or a girlfriend or a wife or a mom or a dad or a daughter or a son that needs something cool for Christmas, check out EvergladesFishingCO.com. That's it though. Y'all seen us catch it, clean it and cook it. There's a giveaway. If you know where we're at, you could potentially win some Everglades fishing gear and some Danko gear. That's it. Huge shout out to our awesome waitress. What was your name again? Adrian. Adrian. Her and Jimmy grew up on this island together their entire lives. Yep. Some french fries. Man, you just laying it out Thank thick you. right now with some pickles. Hey. You want some pickles? Thank you. This what do you boys tell Mr. Jimmy or Uncle Jimmy, oh, however you want to call it? Thank you. Thank you. Jake, did you get any of the seasoning in your mouth? Hey, big boy Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> I'll name him Big Boy Jimmy. Big Boy Jimmy. Big Boy Jimmy. That's it, folks. Thanks for Tarzan coming and helping me this week clean the boat sheds up and Jake for doing all the work too. And they're doing their homeschooling. They're doing great. Right now, it's time to get up out of here and get the heck out of shape. See y'all.